Hello YouTube, MNS Studios here, and today we're actually going to be taking a quick look at my LEGO Ghost Rider car mock. This is a personal mock that I made completely and 100% by myself, with my own parts, and completely 100% LEGO parts, you know, no knockoffs. So, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. This is just going to be taking a quick look uh, at this mock, and uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to say. So, uh, for now, let's just get right into it. And look at this mock. So let's just do a quick 360 view. So here we go. 360 view of this mock. So uh, as you can tell, there's quite a bit of flame detailing here. I did kind of thought that was really important for this type of mock. And I think that just makes a lot of sense for this to have a lot of flames all over it. Because it is Ghost Riders. So, you can already tell I have a ghost right in there. Maybe. There you go. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, let's just go look at some of the design elements that I decided to uh, choose. And, number one, the back. So, I did actually design the back pretty simply, actually. It's really easy. I didn't put, like, any exhaust pieces on there. I didn't feel like that was too terribly important. I um, mean, it still looks good even without these flames, so you can always add on some extra detail for uh, exhaust, but I didn't feel like it was too important because I knew I was going to be plugging in flames somewhere in the back to kind of show that um, there's flames, you know, this is Ghost Rider's car so after all, so, so obviously you can tell here's a gas cap, some uh, riveting action here and some stuff like that, some scaly kind of stuff. They did put the tail lights both on the side. I was going to originally put them like on here or like down here. I decided to just put them on the side. I think that worked fine. And I could always go back and grab some pieces, you know, to add like some extra tail lights or, or whatnot. So that didn't bug me too much. To the side. And then you can tell there is quite a bit of plate detailing. That's one thing I wish I could refrain. But just the way I had to design this specific model, there just had to be a lot of plates there. And there's really nothing you can do to uh, hinder all those there. So, but it does kind of give it like a cool texture there. The look gives some like burnt kind of scaly look to it. So that's something I do like about that. So, and that's on both sides, basically symmetrical. Um, and you can tell that there is actually a little bit of a gap there, uh, right here in between this here. There's a little bit of gap there. It's only connected. This piece is only connected by one stud. That's actually using some like one by uh, six piece. I forget what it's called uh, exactly, but it's like an angled piece. So I thought that'd be cool to kind of add in some, maybe like some, that's probably where like the doors would open or something like that. Maybe I don't know exactly, but just to add some extra bit of detail. So you can tell here's the undercarriage. I did put some like slope kind of pieces there towards the back of the car and give it a little more detail there some orange pieces under there kind of hidden so yeah pretty basic bottom you know you're not going to be looking at the bottom of a Lego car too much so I didn't do anything too terribly spectacular with that but I did add some uh, of these little gun pieces here to kind of show some uh, uh, some of the engine just coming out you know, flame and torch and everything in its path, I guess. And those are just simply connected by some, uh, uh, by this one by four piece here that's basically holding in this plate here, covering up some of the rivets and stuff. And that's just connected simply. You just put that right on there. And then you just take this, uh, the gun handle piece right here and plug that to the top of that. So, I thought that was a pretty simple, easy way to uh, put that on there, and it works, you know. You know, you can look at this from the back and see some fire spewing out. So, you can also tell that the cab is actually kind of angled. So, I actually did that purposely. Uh, that's actually a really easy design technique that you can take. So, basically, this is actually removable. And I did that purposely because... I think he looks pretty dang cool like that, so, but I did want to make a cab sort of thing here, too, but 
basically, when you put this on, you do have adjust it a little bit because things fall apart sometimes. It's Lego, but basically, when you put this on, get everything situated. It's pretty straight. You know, there's a slight angle to it, but you plug that thing in all the way. It's completely straight. Things aren't, you know, looking too good. But when you angle that back, it just looks really cool in my opinion. It gives it a nice slope to it. And it just looks so cool. And it's very easy. It's not even really a design element. It's just an easy way to modify this and make it look a little more stylistic uh, to what you might see with like a Ghost Rider car. So, you can also tell there's some dark blue. I did want to put like some kind of striping detailing in there. There's like blue, blue stripe there, some blue there, and there. So some dark blue, just to give it a, you know a little bit of color contrast. Not too much from the black, but and the gray, but just a little bit. But yeah, you can also again take this off. Doesn't hurt too much to take that piece off. I actually do like to take this off. And one thing I do actually recommend is if you're not going to have a top, is I putting a uh, 1x4 tile piece here. Just putting that right on the top. And that just looks a little bit better. So, in my opinion. And a little more realistic, too. So, yeah. So, here's a look at the front. So, yeah, the Ghost Rider really can't see. But, for the most part, he looks pretty cool. So, now, since I have this piece off, might as well look at this uh, thing here. We'll look at that later. But basically, how I designed this was actually very easy. I took this blue one by one with the uh, side step here. And then I built this little piece here, which isn't symmetrical, actually. I kind of did that purposely, but not really. But uh, you can tell this is here when, realist, when it should be here. But... This is some contrast in the burn marks and stuff. And then obviously this top part is black. This one is gray. Kind of shows some paint scuff, you know, through the years. So it's actually very easily put on. Basically, you take this center kind of pin piece here and just put that right on that blue piece there. And that raise it a little bit because that does want to hit the tire. It will want to anyway. So you kind of raise that up a little bit. And it rolls nice and easily. So, now, let's look at this engine part. So, this engine part is actually a really easy, very simple thing to do. So, how I put these flames here is actually use these 1x2 clip pieces and just put some of these scaled pieces here. Put the flame on and just cover that up. So, it gives it a little bit of a flame detail there. And then the engine very easily made actually the kind of engine that's popping out of the hood very easily just connected by one of these uh, one by ones with the little pins here you know it, it's a pretty simple and easy way to do that again I put some color contrast in there kind of show a little bit of scuff you know this is not meant to be like a brand new car you know a Dodge Charger for instance it's not meant to be one of those so put that flame there so um, another thing I did add was actually these kind of horn pieces here as you can tell it's just using uh, some of these musket pieces here and that's just on uh, this little bar piece here just connected here um, right here connected there and then I put a little hood ornament with a flame on there it's actually a skeleton leg so black one uh, is an extra piece in one of my sets that I got and uh, that's a really cool thing that I added. I was like, wow, that that would be such a good idea with my Ghost Riders car when I saw that. And I was like, whoa, I, you know, I'm going to use that because that just looks so cool. And I, I, I can't help but notice it does look pretty cool. You know, other than the fact Ghost Rider can't see out of his windshield with it there, it does look pretty cool. But, and then I did put some fire spewing out of the engine. I thought that was a really fun, interesting detail. And again, you can always take that off. If you do not like that design element, if you make something like this, very easily just take those right off so so uh, getting back to this horn piece here those are just using some of these uh, clip pieces here 
with the, the I just plugged into the bar here, and then he uses musket pieces to kind of give some uh, contrast there. And the front hood you got pretty basic, some grill pieces here, bit of color contrast, some black with the uh, gray, and then some headlights. So yeah, uh, but that's pretty much all there is to it, you know. So as you can tell. That's about there, uh, what there is for this mock. A uh, very simple, easy mock. It's a car mock, you know, there's not a whole lot you can do with it, but again, the features that I did add was of course adding this little cab section here. I thought that was pretty cool in the fact that I designed it where it could actually curve a little bit towards the back. It was just kind of an ingenious design that I did. Again, to give it some cool factor-ish stuff, you know, I don't really know what, how to put that, but yeah, but that's my Ghost Started Car Mock. I really hope that you guys like this. And I really hope that you guys can share this to your friends. Be sure to share this because this really, uh, that really helps my channel grow and become really big. I uh, love making mocks. I love doing videos. And I cannot wait to put more and more content out for you guys. So uh, be sure to go look at some of my other videos here. You know, I got the Spider Mech, Iron Patriot Mech, and then that Spider Car I'm going to, or Spider Mobile that I'm going to be reviewing. And taking a quick look at in a video soon so but yeah be sure to like comment and subscribe it really helps the channel grow and i'll see you guys in the next one